You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. It is seven minutes after 12. My guest is Linda Ramone. Hello there. How are you, Lynn? I'm very well. I'm yeah. very excited to be here. Yeah? Yes. It looks very nice that you have another job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a, you took a little vacation, and now you're back. Uh, was it my choice to take a vacation? No, but it was a nice vacation. Yeah. Took me a while to get back in the groove. And here you are. When I first started doing it five days a week, I'm like, oh, man, this is killing me. This is kicking my lazy ass. But now I'm in the groove. No, it's good. I could see it. It's changed your personality a little too. You're much happier. Yeah, you noticed that. Yeah, you're much happier being busy. Yeah, I think know? I think it's a good thing to be busy. Yeah, and now I don't have to hear you how you're going to move thousands of miles away to a wooden shack with no visitors. You <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> got you got a point. You got, got a point. Uh, that you that got was point. that was not good. <laughs> Steve Bunyan. Yeah, well, he'd wind up being well. Like, Whatever. Do you know Steve Bunyan? No. You know Paul Bunyan? Yeah. Oh, well, that's it. Yeah. I'm the, me, Steve no. Bunyan. Okay. It's kind of a joke, but I, no. Okay. <laughs> didn't, didn't go down good. <laughs> no one got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> since it's like going on our 12th year together doing a, a, a tribute, here we go. Yeah. Oh, 12 well, years. Where's, uh, where's uh, Kirk Ammon? Kirk is uh, right now uh, recording, actually, uh, whatever that thing is. I texted him yesterday. A phone? Yeah. <laughs> that thing? Yeah. You know, I like talking to people on the phone yeah. still. Good so, luck. Good luck. But I did text, you know, because we're going to have this year at the Tribute. Well, let's t tell us what you're going to do this year. Well, July 24th, Hollywood Forever, we're going to do the Johnny Ramone Tribute. Oh, and we're going back there. I thought yeah. you weren't going to go to... No, no, no. Oh, we have man. to go there because that's where the statue is. Okay, go on. That's where Johnny and Dee Dee are. Sorry. So we're going back. Go on. So we're going to show It's Alive, the Ramones, you know, best sh live show, you know, from the Roundhouse. And then we're going to show Rock and Roll High School. We're going to show some really cool uh, clips because we have Roger Corman coming. You know, Who's that? Uh, director. He did The Trip, Wild Angels, all, you know. Pit in the Pendulum, like all these amazing movies. He's King of the Bees. Yeah. Him and PJ Souls, Riff Randall. Uh, so we'll do that, and we're going to have a pop-up thing with all rock and roll photos from Morrison Hotel Gallery. Mm. And we're going to have Kirk Hammett's horror collection. Horror collection? Yeah, he has the biggest horror collection in the, probably in, a, in the country. World yeah. Probably. Yeah. So... And, and it's amazing, and they put it up in the mausoleum, and it's all lit up amazing. We had it last time, but because it was a lot going on, yeah. a lot of people didn't get to see it. So everybody kept saying that they wanted to see it again this year. So we're bringing it back because it was pretty amazing. Did you see it? No. no. Did you even go in it last year? Uh, no, I was no? too busy playing. I know. See, yeah, a it lot was, going it, on. It was a bit of a mess last year as far as... Not for the people who went. No, Hello, no, it's great. but for yes, the organization kind of fell apart at one point. It, it, it was overwhelming. Let's put it that way. It was political a little bit. Yeah, but I, it was. <laughs> I guess. But it was a success. It was. Yeah, we had like three thousand kids. Yeah. So it was pretty amazing. So this year, I just love doing the tribute because it's what Johnny wanted with his legacy, mm. and it would be something Johnny would love to go to because Johnny was into his hobbies. Yeah. And so going to the tribute would be something Johnny would do because Johnny said, hobbies are really good for you because mental illness doesn't get any better as you get older. It only gets worse. Yeah. So hobbies keep you very stable mm. with collecting. So that's why this year I always have like good guests and, you know, you sit on the, your blankets and the palm trees, you bring whatever you want to eat and your picnic basket. You come with your family or your girlfriend. And I just think it's a fun thing because everybody meets there and we're going on 12 years, me and you now. Yeah. From the beginning. That's right. The first one, the statue unveiling. Mm -hmm. And then I was there. You were there. You were there the still night. Still here. <laughs> You're still here. And now we're actually on like a big radio station. This is pretty good. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> you know, who Few. knew you would move up? Thank God. Now we don't even have to find a host. You're the host. <laughs> <laughs> Rob 
comes off, he said, what do you mean? You have Jonesy. He's back on the radio. I was like, okay, you're right. <laughs> Anyone else coming though? Well, Fred, Armisen, and, you know. He shows up to an yeah. opening of a door, though, that guy. <gasps> I like Fred. He's funny. No, he he's is. a good guy, I'm you know. I'm pulling your leg. He's great. Yeah, you know. But he does. He likes going out, and he likes being involved in rock and roll things, so yeah. that's cool. Yeah, he, I needs, mean, you know. he needs the credibility. And whoever whoever else is in town, I never really worry because I really only worry about my guest hosts. So now I don't have to worry because I'm looking right at them. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I well, love it. Does that mean, what do, I, what do I have to actually do? Is that a lot of work? Because I'm not uh, good at remembering things. I don't know. Uh, you know what? What, what does a host do? Introduce people, things? Yeah, and throughout the night we'll have different people. You know, all these other rock and roll high school people are going to come and, you know, talk and do a panel. and Yeah. It's just a lot of fun for kids to come and to see movies and, and celebrate the Ramones 40th. Yeah, yeah. You know? I better get in shape. July 24th, you say? July 24th, Hollywood Forever. How many how many weeks is that? Oh, from, it's from like now? Uh, Eight, um, 12 weeks? I don't know. Eight? Seven. Eight. Seven. Seven weeks. Yeah, okay. seven weeks away. So everybody who complains that they have to fly in, now you can get your tickets. It's way ahead in advance. I see Shovel is looking at his Johnny Ramone bag. Yeah. I brought him a lovely uh, Johnny Ramone uh, when? tote bag t- this Just morning. And a Ramone's mug. See what I do for you, you know? Shovel? Yeah. yeah. See what I do a for you. A t-shirt, a nice Ramone's t-shirt. You know what? You got you to gotta, you know, you treat people nice. And a mug, look. Yeah. A Ramones mug. You're here. Jonesy's jukebox, Carol OS with Linda Ramone. We're going to play something you picked. Yes, you know why? My first concert I went to when I was like 12 Grand Funk. was Grand Funk Railroad at Madison Square Garden with my brother. And you liked it? I loved it. I was in love with Mark Fauna probably from that day. He was like <laughs> a bit, He was like a big Fabio looking guy, wasn't he back then? No, he was cool looking. Big muscly guy. <laughs> Wasn't he a muscly he, guy? Yeah, but he had the headband and, and the, the long with, hair. And that silver band around yeah, his arm. Yeah, I mean, he looked great, Mark Varna. I saw him at Hyde Park once. Were they good there? I think they were opening up for the Stones or Humble Pie. I don't know, I was a mile away. I couldn't. I didn't get close. I was like 15 or something. Uh, but I remember that the, the long hair, white pants, nothing on top, with a big silver thing around his thing. That's the f- one thing I remember. Yeah, Grand Funk is a great band. Yeah. I think. I like them. Yeah. Well, let's play it then. Let's play Locomotion. Jonesy's Jukebox, KLOS, with my guest, Linda Ramone. 